Hey family, you're watching Discovering Happiness with Manny V, where we bring reality to life, where we dissect it, define it, and find happiness within. So with no further ado, let's get started. Today's topic was actually brought to my attention by one of my fans. It's actually an epidemic a lot of young Indian girls are facing in India, as well as in America. It's the fair skin insecurity. A lot of young girls feel they have to look or act a certain way just to fit into society, whether it's dyeing their hair to be blonde or bleaching their skin, using certain skin product to look lighter and acting a certain way. So we're gonna deep dive a little bit, analyze it, and pretty much try to give them more encouragement to learn to love themselves, find a heritage and a culture to identify more with themselves, just to be more blissful. So let's get started. You can definitely say that Bollywood does have a factor towards this. For the past 10 years or so, a lot of Bollywood dancers, background dancers, are Caucasian women from Australia or from Europe. And you can say that Bollywood is trying to capture its audience in a different format, whether it's basically trying to show sex appeal or trying to get a certain look as far as blonde hair, blue eyes, just to gravitate towards society, make them feel like this is what society needs. And you can notice that it's almost like a total pole because it's happening in the streets of Mumbai. All these type of ads, commercial, feature some of these Caucasian women selling a product or featuring a certain product. And you can also notice that um, certain products that have to do with fair skin are trying to show that dark skin is unwanted in society. So they have these commercials or ads, or creams that you use that can change the complexity of your skin from dark to light. And it could definitely take a toll on a lot of women these days in India as far as identifying with their true heritage, their whole true color skin and much more. It just feels like you have to look a certain look to actually get the next job promotion, next movie role, or even the next relationship. It just shows that in society that you have to look a certain way to be accepted or to go to the next level. And it could definitely take a toll on a lot of these women as far as insecurity, body shaming, and much more. Definitely want to give you guys an example of a reality TV show called Married to Medicine. There's actually an Indian Gujarati lady named Ania who was married to a successful doctor. In one of the episodes, Ania breaks down and defines her insecurity as well about her heritage and her Indian identity with her nanny. In one of the episodes, her nanny con confronts Ania and tells her that her daughter is actually feeling insecure about herself, about how she wishes she was blonde hair, blue eyes, light skinned, just to fit into her uh, society. And her daughter is about age nine or 10 elementary kid. So in the episode, Ania pretty much breaks down to Nanny and tells her, you know, growing up, I kind of felt the same way as well. Living in, in um, Atlanta, the only Indian girl getting bullied, getting made fun of for my hair texture, my skin complexity, and some of my features. And she just was saying that she, she had a hard time fitting into society and just had to develop a, a different look or a different way just to fit in. And she has a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with her daughter the next following day at the kitchen table where she tells her daughter how she feels, she sits down, and her daughter tells her the same, how, she, how her friends are a certain look and she's only, she looks Indian and everybody looks white and she's lacking some of these features. So her, her, Ania pretty much tells her that just to be proud for her, her looks and to define her qualities, how it's different, makes unique, and unique makes beautiful. So there was a heart-to-heart -heart conversation between that, and it just made sense for each of them to love who you are, your heritage, your identity, how beautiful your complexity is, and being different is wonderful. And that was just an amazing conversation, how it was gratitude between the two of them, and how both of them had to deal with this type of situation in, in 2021. I would possibly say that Indians women are influenced by American culture to a degree. Just on the fact what media portrays to us 
a lot of Indian women these days feel they have to dye their hair a certain color or use a certain skin tone to look a lighter skin complexity or even act a certain way just to fit in. So we have noticed that in, in our society these days and I would say a root cause for this insecurity for Indians in the U.S. would be the lack of diversity. If, if you notice, Indians don't really have much of a movement in the, in the media industry. So that, that plays definitely a factor towards it. Even one thing I would say that um, all these beauty magazines, based on research, they said that 70% of women feel more insecurity and have more anxiety about themselves while flipping towards a magazine. Whether if they're looking for tips or tricks towards their uh, makeover. So it's more of a body shaming in a way by looking at these magazines. It's more of a more of a anxiety bringing to yourself, which is kind of sad or weird in a way, I would think. And also I would think of is reality TV show, how they influence our society to dress or look a certain way. If you look at the Kardashians, um, some of the TV shows, their episodes where they have certain makeup, certain hairdo, a certain skin complexity, just to fit into society. And a lot of women feel they have to look this part to play a part in society. And it's pretty much like telling everybody like, you know, your heritage, your identity, it's pretty much down the drain. And this is pretty much your new heritage, your looks. And this is what you have to look to be accepted in society. And you would also think about it this way, social media, beauty influencer, plays a big part to it. Um, there's a lot of these influencer shows you beauty tips just to be more, uh, more, more Caucasian in a way. It, and you could also see that in, in the African American community where a certain hair um, texture is not accepted. You have to have that Caucasian hair texture to, to fit into society. So it's it, this this whole situation is not only affecting our Indian society, but also other ethnicity in in America. And if you if you notice a trend, Indians are following the trend worldwide. If you look at these get-togethers or party, a lot of these Indian women don't really look Indian to the most part. They'll have a lot of these extensions. Their hair will be dyed a certain way. Their skin tone will be more lighter than what it's supposed to be. And even the, the way they're, they're dressed, it's more Americanized than Indian for the most part. So I would say definitely it is playing a big role, the Western culture in the Indian society, in the big picture. I believe if we actually dive a little deep in our own heritage, our own culture, I think we'll be more secure with who we are as a person. I believe that our culture is so unique and so rich in so many ways. Our ancestral clothing, our jewelry, our henna, our artistic way of doing things. Even some of our Indian folk dancing is very powerful in such a way. I think if we actually look back at our culture, our heritage, I think we'll be more encouraged to become to love our, our, our own self instead of following a different type of ethnicity in so many ways because if you look at the big pictures today a lot of the Indian influencers are rubbing off to the American culture and a lot of Americans are following yoga mantras um, type of clothing we wear saris, kurtos even um, finding discovering our fate so it's, it's funny that we are actually running after them and they're actually running after us so i think if we meet in between it would just make us more in tune who we are if we if we learn to love our skin our texture of our hair our features and just look between beneath i think it will really identify us it will really feel us that we need to feel who we are and if we maybe take a trip to some of these ancient sites in India or l do a little research of how, how how beautiful we are, I think it would just make us grow in such a b better person. 
I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and spread the love. Till then, have a beautiful day. Om Shanti.